On this video, we will know what's new in the new version of Tesla Scala 2, version 52. The main feature we added in the new version is possibility to use Tesla's cloud. First, you have to create your account on our cloud. To open Tesla Cloud, you have to, from our site, click Cloud or just type te cloudteslascar.com. Then you have to sign up, enter your login, email, password. First password is for moderator and the second password is just for user. I have already created this account, so I just log in. For example, for I first log in like, like moderator. You can see this tab. You can change profile, change password and change email. And if you log in like just user, you can do this. Now open Tesla SCADA ID and set up your cloud. To do this, open project properties and open cloud tab. You enter username and one of the password, password of the moderator or password like for user. And now you have to set up tags. We create server, Modbus server to get data from our from Modbus server and publish them on our cloud and set up some tags after humidity, humidity set. If you want that text is demonstrated on your browser on the dashboard, you have to tap cloud tab. If you don't want this, you, you can't left it without enable. In this case, you can read it on by, by using Tesla like clients. If you want it demonstrated on the web browser, you have to set up and choose one of the types of the tiles on the dashboard. In our case, this is progress, then unit of this value and image type for icon. You can choose from the represented or you can just type from this site by choosing this value. In this case, icon is demonstrated on, on your tile. Description, then choose group. You can enter your new group or choose from the represented. For the new project, there no will be and you have to create some groups yourself. Minimum and maximum value, decimal position and front color, depending on the value. And background color also depending on the value of the tag. And let's open this project on Tesla's card runtime and run it. It's communicated and you can see on our Modbus simulator that value here. Let's change some value. And you can see the values change on our Modbus simulator. And according to our script that we created in our project, the values change to get set up value. You can change temperature and it will be published on the cloud. And now let's open our Tesla's cloud. cloud. It's already represented the values. And you can see and you can change value here. For example, you want to change setup temperature to 35. You can see it changed on the our publisher and on our Modbus simulator. You can change, for example, light 
you can see it's changed changed here and you can see it's changed on our bra in our browser you can let's reload and filter our groups that we added lights change let's change tiles as representations and you can represent the values by using table and top of export to csv file our text the account values you can see also it's possible to get history information choose time period you want to get history information for example three days and you can so erase on beneath this window you can get events you can choose even type alarm or warning you can choose time period and for example to get alarms it's also possible to use Tesla scatter runtime like a client not like a publisher to, to the cloud to do this open id and let's open our cloud tab and create cloud client based on the client publisher let's create save replace and we want to use cl cloud objects we created in this version also it's for example trend and even stables that get data from cloud not from the database let's install our publisher on our our pc and let's open client here let's study this project it's create cloud server with our name with name cloud server and with username and password the same the text get data from cloud server not from the month pass now and let's install the project publisher on our device and open runtime or client here let's start the runtime on our other pc we get data and let's connect to cloud we've got some data let's change for example change temperature to 20 grads down degrees and let's check cloud we have to reload check yes 20 degrees changed values changed also it's possible to use android version of our tesla scada runtime we loaded the project on the android and let's try to change some values for example we click on on the light you, you can see it changed on our desktop runtime version also for example we changed set temperature temperature you can see it changed Unfortunately, Tesla SCADA to runtime for iOS version doesn't support cloud at this moment, but you can get cloud by using browsers. Also, in the new version, we had some minor changes. For example, we had possibility to support Microsoft Access databases 
for more information to visit our user manual how to access Microsoft Access and you can check here use history table for every tag for history databases and in this case all text create your own table it will be helpful if you have big project and many tags and you want that database history information represented faster that's all if you have any questions do not hesitate to ask